Hey YouTube, it's Mike. Um, thought I would show you uh, one of my messes. Now this is a, uh, a prototype project and here I've got some black mollies. Um, I've been breeding them and uh, I've come up with some weird looking ones if you can see there through the, the haze of the glass. But this is out in my shop right now. Um, because as I come up in the tank here you'll see I've been experimenting because that's the kind of thing I do and what you can see there is a big root mass and now this has gotten pretty nasty and a lot of that's because I uh, I'm planning on moving this into the house this operation um, so as I come up into the top of the mess here one you can see I have uh, these are LED lights 12 volt which means they're pretty easy and cheap to run don't create a lot of heat and that's just for the fish light um, up here if you can see that that is a fluorescent light I actually got it out of a paint shop uh, a guy gave it to me and just a plug-in unit seems fairly power efficient I'm running it right now off of an 80 watt inverter and it doesn't seem to be working it too hard at all um, but then here we can see um, now I should have been better prepared I guess this is a celery there's a kind of a row of celery here and what I've done if I can get in here is um, I've taken these boards and I've drilled some holes and this is actually um, bandage material that I wrapped around the base of the plant and then I to work as a plug to hold it in there and then if I can show you somehow you can see the underside how the roots come down and hang in there um, and this has actually worked quite well the biggest thing I've noticed is the water seems to dissipate quite quickly um, now the celery to me is exciting kind of I'm a bit of a celery fanatic I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that everybody has trouble growing celery and here I am. Um, I took this out of my garden and I'm growing it in a, a fish tank uh, with no soil. Back here we have tomatoes. Uh, if you watch my other garden videos I've talked here and there about my uh, uh, non-determinant plum tomatoes. So instead of growing up making tomatoes and dying these things should keep growing tomatoes for basically indefinitely. Um, so these are some suckers, uh, same thing down here, bit of wadding in a board, wadding's used as a plug, and then uh, there's some roots hanging, um, and it's, it's doing quite well, and the most impressive, and I'm not sure if I can even show you, um, but this big stem here comes up, there's a nice looking sucker on there, and it comes along, and if you follow it, it comes all the way across and down into here. And I mean, that thing is um, probably over 18 inches from where it goes into the fish tank to this end growth. Um, it's got to be a good 18 inches. It's just been wicked. I, uh, I had the light uh, up higher. And um, this, because of this particular shoot, some of my other stuff wasn't doing quite as well. And when that tomato shoot fell over, um, I re-lowered the light. And now I think uh, whatever, I guess with just getting the intensity in there, because I'm in a shop where it's poorly lit, um, it's really allowed everything else to spring up and come along nicely. Um, and all the roots in this fish tank. I mean, the fish seem to think it's great. They're always up in there cleaning things off and carrying on. I have some snails in the tank there. You can see one maybe. Um, but it makes for some pretty big root balls if you if you get looking around and you can get over the water trickling. You can see the water levels low. This is a, mostly because we have had some frost. Um, and I don't like adding really cold water when it's cold outside because the little heater in this tank has trouble catching up. And on top of that, um, I'm hoping to move this indoors quite soon because my shop will be very cold coming up shortly. 
and that's not good for these fish or for the plants. So I'm hoping to get these moved in. I actually have some plans to expand an aquaponics type project um, inside. I might have to wait till my wife's not home. We'll see. Um, she actually doesn't seem to be uh, as against it as maybe I would have thought. Um, but we'll see what happens because I got some other tanks already in the house. And uh, moving these tanks, um, don't look at my mess completely, but that's a good size fish tank. Um, I think, what is it, it's like a 35 or something gallon, I'd have to double check, and I have two of them, um, and if I scoop quick over here, there's the other one, it's pretty well empty right now, but that's the one I'm going to drain first and take in the house and set it up and get the water warmed up, move the plants and the fish into it, and then bring the other tank over, um, so yeah, that's uh, part of my plans going ahead here uh, check for updates on the uh, aquaponics um, I'm going to use a couple of different methods and theories some of it might be just where I hang the roots into the actual fish tank like this which is nice because uh, say like when these big mama mollies give birth the babies can go up in there and hide and uh, so it, it, it has more than just the growing the plants purpose it's also good for the fish keeps the water it leaves the water a bit of a yellowish uh, color but um, overall it actually seems cleaner uh, even with that slight yellow tinge which is kind of I'm not sure how that works but uh, hey it it's working um, I've never had water stay quite this stable for so long with such healthy fish um, even in other fish tank uh, scenarios where I've done uh, I, I often set up like a bio tank where the it's a kind of a closed circuit and they work well too because you've got plants to eat the fish stuff and the fish to fertilize the plants and the water and the whole ball of wax and this one just seems that much more um, sustainable so uh, yeah I'll update you on that um, check in it is fall going to be getting some stuff moved around here got to get my shop cleaned up and get these things in i'm hoping to save some peppers and some other plants maybe to go in a system and maybe get some lettuce going for winter and maybe grab some of my uh ever bearing strawberries to go in a, a unit and i've got some pond pumps and different things and we'll see what we can come up with um if you know how i work it's all about cheap easy kind of uh Think outside the box and make something grow that you can eat always a bonus so keep stay tuned let me know if there's something in particular you'd like to know or um, any questions uh, leave me a comment I'll get back to you as soon as I can all right thanks ciao